Releasing Ariman. Ariman. Everything that happens is happening. Everything that is happening is a constant interplay and result of highly intricate and profound interweaving of destinies, karmic and otherwise, with uh, numerous other people souls and maybe animal souls that, that are closely tied up with you and that you agree to um, on, on some level you agreed you signed up for this <laughs> as, as much as you might feel like you're suffering or whatever you signed up for this because it's helping someone You just might write something or, or say something or do something that will affect somebody for their life and change the traje trajectory of their life in such a way that you, uh, you sign up for that. You, you made the agreements that it could only happen if you were in this particular place, time and place and space at this particular time, uh, as inconvenient as that might be you in your life but again that's just inconvenient for your ego for the lower ego who um, you, who is not aware of these things normally and so again the, the goal in releasing Ariman is to let the ego in this sense get out of its own way so that you can see kind of like what Kenneth Grant said about the the phantasmagoria of images that is the life or the ego uh, you see it for what it is and it, it, it's like arrayed out in front of you as a panorama and uh, you just you sit back and you watch it unfold and you don't really have to take part in it so much you can just kind of observe it passing you observe become more of a, an observer of your life and acceptor accepting things as they come and it's not something you do once and it's done it's like a constant thing to do it's like training yourself it's a training it's like a it's tuning tuning a muscle and and it's becoming also highly receptive because at any moment you can see uh, the threads of, of karma weaving in and out and I think every night when you sleep these things are being uh, uh, repatterned and upgraded and whatnot on the soul or astral plane. Uh, so, like, for example, I was walking, or before I started my, my walk, I, I parked the car and, and, and parked, I parked the RV and there was a woman parked also there in the parking lot and she was like, taking a nap in her car or something or smoking a cigarette and she had dogs and like man like we we stayed like that for a good 20 minutes and then we both <laughs> happened to open the doors at the same exact time so like interweaving of destinies like I was saying uh, but but that's not even the, the, the point the point is like so, like, she, and I noticed, like, she was a little bedraggled herself, and, like, she had, uh, like, 
her hair was dyed kind of rainbowy, you know, very hippie vibe, hippie chick vibe. And, uh, but she was like not, kind of down and out looking too. And I'm wondering like in these cases, it's like there, there she is like, boom, on a parallel dimension. Like that could have been my wife or something in a slightly alternate version of this kind of thing. And so, and, and, and probably not, but there's could be many things like that. But the point is like, you got to be receptive to these things. And so then another person was parking right between us and he was like me uh at a younger age he had his dogs and and like he was like annoyingly cock blocking me and this woman right and he was like this younger dude with his dogs uh, and then I happened to run into him again like on the beach but so like he represents <laughs> see how he represents me uh in the more unawakened state kind of just going through life without examining things and he was also kind of like not very smiling and happy because that's kind of me like a lot of the time honestly so like you can see again the inter like so everything is like a pattern from from the spirit everything is like everything that happens could be like a message from uh your higher self or or you know an angel or something or, or the gods, whatever it is. And so that's releasing Arman.